Praise the name of the Lord. Family, once again, you're welcome. You're welcome to yet another session. It's your friend and your sister, Dr. Irene. Of course, I bring you an amazing and an awesome word from the Lord. I want to thank all those that are checking in already to this particular session. This session is very unique and is very, very specific. You know, this word, it was a word that the Lord ministered to me personally, and I chose to share it with you because I know a prophecy for one is a prophecy for all. And if God can use this word to change my life, to change my mentality, to change change me completely and totally i know it will not be different for you in the name of jesus and the lord made it so clear he said i should tell you he wants you to he he, he is insisting on you he says he is insisting on you now this particular word you have been praying and you've been asking god for something each day you keep crying lord use me you keep crying lord take me to this place you keep crying lord establish me in this place you keep crying lord move through me let your let my voice become like your voice and many other things and you keep crying and crying but the lord says that i should tell you because you feel like god is not answering those prayers you feel like god doesn't want to use you he doesn't want to make you a um, mom you know the same way that he used the people of the old you see how god uses your friends to establish a lot of things business ministry um uh, 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 education career and other things and you're like lord why are you not using me the lord says i should tell you this he is insisting on you he is insisting on you what does it mean for god to insist on you now one thing i want you to know is that the lord will not will not um uh, give because when God apportions something to you, when God gives you an assignment, that means he has seen that you are trustworthy. He has seen that you will be able to carry out that task. He tests you to a certain level. When he sees that you are fit, then he is going to put it into your hand. And now for you to be fit, the Lord needs to see your brokenness. What is brokenness? Brokenness means that you keep your your ego you keep yourself pride and you depend solely on god to do that which he's assigning you to do and until you get to that level where god sees that you will remain broken you will remain humble and allow him to do the things he wants to do through you he won't be able to do it and the lord says i should tell you he says you have been qualified you have been qualified yes you are the one your act of humility your act of meekness has made him to see that you have been qualified and he has approved you to use you as a vessel of honor the bible says in the book of hebrew chapter 1 verse number 8 it says the lord will crown you with honor and with glory so therefore Therefore, as the Lord lays this tax in your hand, as the Lord lays the assignment in your hand, keep and stay focused and allow him to do that which he wants to do in Jesus' name.